exactly how I predicted you would smell. <laughs> You've known me for three years. It's and not you're like, consistent. Ah, no, you, exactly how I expected you to smell. No, you right? have like you hung have, out in the same that's room. That's not true. You have like two or three cents. That's true, Shane. You do have two or three yeah. cents. What the? He for went to example, Japan with you. He knows. You've worn that. You wore that every day in Japan. So my question is, was it washed? I just in washed it. You did. So okay. So it's gonna be the fresh wash chain smell. You're just talking about clothing smells. No, no, no. Mm. It's it's your um. It's, let me let me smell it's this your, area. It's the Shane Musk. Pheromones. Oh, is it yeah, pheromones? I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Probably pheromones day. Yeah. I, that's how you, that. Olivia, that's you, sm you smell like, you smell like patchouli and hot chilo. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, I smell really gross. You know when you smell this area of your forehead, that's mm -hmm. like your, uh, your, your natural scent. What? Yeah, yeah, smell mine. This, see, okay, and this is how I smell, right? Like the smoking area of a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Like a lobster tail fresh out the shell. <laughs> What's up, guys? Right. Um, welcome to a show with no name. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Uh, um, this one's called People Smells. That human stank. That human stank. <laughs> yeah. That human stank. Man, we had a question in the last uh, show with no name that we filmed that you would have been great to have here. Later. Uh, it was why is milk white? Well, you see, uh, cows are also the highest producers of bleach. And uh, from from the back udder, the furthest most udder, um, it shoots bleach out of it, and so you gotta be super careful. But that kind of mixes in with their natural cow water and their bovine juices, and uh, creates, <laughs> creates milk. <laughs> bovine, bovine juice. juice. Just kidding, it's the calcium. It's all the chalk. It's uh, mixing around in those utter, utter sacks. You actually legitimately refer to milk as mammal drink. Mammal drink. Mammal drink? <laughs> or uh, <laughs> cow sap or the farmer's gift. <laughs> the, farmer's, the farmer's gift. I think I got that from a click hole article. <laughs> okay guys, we're gonna do a speed drawing challenge. We're gonna draw each other. We get to choose who we want to draw and we get one minute to do it. I pick you. I pick Shane Top. I pick Olivia. Make that makes sense. Doctor. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, and with the drawings, we will ask you guys to comment down below, make the title of a Smosh fan fiction. Please have it be non-sexual. We have enough of those already. They exist. Be respectful of our bodies. We will pick our three favorite titles and we will send these drawings to you. Oh, I didn't, okay, that's cool. What if they live really far away? Well, we'll Guess send we're them. paying some shipping, huh? Really? We're paying some shipping. Okay, yeah. see, you hear that? We're doing so it. So even if you're in on, Bosnia. Mars. Yep. Uh -huh. Bosnia. In on Mars. Your minute starts in three, two, one, go! Time! Oh, uh, you ready to reveal yeah, our portraits? Let's do yes. It. Okay, on the count of three, ready? One, one two, two, three. three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, it looks just like me. <laughs> Game Boy. What the That's heck? what I do. It's it's what I see. <laughs> see, yeah, there it goes. My eyes just. Oh. Like, he's doing it. Do it. Do it. Hold on. Do it. Oh. Yeah. See. You look dumb. Yeah. Thanks for uh, really accentuating my eyebrows. Not my eyebrows. My eyelashes. Where my yeah. eyebrows go. I like that you guys wrote things. Yeah. Game Boy, because you play Game Boys. All the time. Yeah. Nonstop. Game Boy. <laughs> I also I um, made your hands really small. Super tiny, super tiny. Yeah. I like that you understand our like gaming the way that parents did in the nineties. Oh just like, yeah. Oh yeah, you kids like those that game joys. You guys join your games. Like uh, oh, you like those Pokemans. Guys, uh, please comment the title of a Smosh fan fiction. We will pick our favorite titles. We will send these drawings to you. Do I have to use my real name to sign or? Yes. Generally. <laughs> what the heck are you talking what, about? What would you like to do? I don't know. You can't title it Onion Lady. All right, let's get on with this show. Throw me the iPad. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> let's start out for the front. Let's. You drunk? <laughs> Again? Why? This art is very good. Oh my God, this was you. Uh, it is by at that gross, gross man. man. You wow. a real G if you know where this is from. That's great. That's I don't. Really good. It's missing uh, me, so I, you know. Our I, first Comic Con, we had to dress up Comic as Con. like fake superheroes. Fake superheroes, yeah. And we walked around the floor, and then we asked people like, 
what we were and stuff. That's And that funny. was really, really fun. Well, this, yeah. These are good times. These are really good times. Good times. And here is some more art. Ooh. Ah! Wow, we really, Oh, guys, look at that one. That's Holy a great cow. One. It's raining art. art. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, it's raining, raining art. art. Happy birthday. I got a fart. <laughs> Our first question comes to us from Lightling147 at Ayushpower147. If you had any dog, what breed would it be and what superpower would you give it? P.S. What breed is Django? Uh, Django is a Rhodesian Ridgeback, which was bred for lion hunting. I would have an Alaskan Malamute, which is like a husky but different, and I would let it have the power of uh, telepathy, so that uh, we could communicate mentally. Bark but it still doesn't. Yeah, it still doesn't know English. It just barks in my head, and it knows what I'm saying, but it still just is like. No, but, like oh, yeah. Obviously, you guys know what mine would be. Yes. Oh, I know this one. It is a Brussels, Brussels Gravon. My dog superpower would be that they just have unlimited amount of food coming out of them, and they would be giving it to people who were hungry. What kind of food? Anything you like. I like uh, Brussels Griffon meat. Nope. Okay. Anyways, what would yours be? Uh, Australian Shepherd. It's nice. My favorite type of dog. Nice. Uh, Top notch lawyer. Dude, <laughs> just just a top-notch lawyer. Cannot speak otherwise, but when it comes to the law, absolutely can talk. Incredible. Don't say anything else from here on out. You can communicate between me and my client. Blah 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 blah. blah. Like, wow, that's a cool dog. All right, this is from at K Contortion. If you were to be a pizza, who would you like? to eat you, and what pizzeria would make you? I would be made by uh, a small mom and pop shop called uh, Fat Pepe's, and uh, he would uh, make me with extra TLC, and then I would be eaten by none other than uh, Wayne the Drock Johnson to fuel his very powerful workouts. Uh, if you follow him on, on Instagram, he usually has like one cheat meal and then like peanut butter pancakes. Shout out to Fat Pepe. I would be um, made from a very touristy pizzeria mm. in Italy. It's not that good. Mm. It's just really overrated and just a bunch of tourists go there. Get out of the real Italy tourists. Yeah, it's just not, it's, a, it's like basic pizza that you can get from here. Pizzeria is called the best pizza in Italy. But it's not. I would be birthed in the furnaces of hell, mm -hmm. deep, deep down mm -hmm. in the molten core. I would be a delicious pizza <laughs> with any topping you desire. Uh, metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not a real Shotgun thing. Shotgun shells. That's not a real thing. Shotgun shells. You a can't single be a metal bee. pizza. Actual fire. You can't Actual, be a metal a pizza. A single bee, as a he said. Bee. Uh, I would have, um, you know, concepts. <laughs> Like the concept of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> be on there. I would be eaten by none other than Iron Mike Tyson, who could definitely <laughs> eat that pizza. I eat the hell out of that pizza. I'm gonna, just gonna kill okay. it. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's a pizza. really good pizza? I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it right now. What pizzeria would be serving this pizza? Little Caesars. Izzy C nine seventeen asks, "Have you ever been left back a grade in school, and if so, why?" I had the opportunity to skip a grade at one point, and we decided not to. My parents sort of thought it'd be best that I'd be like the same age as the people I was growing up with. Um, you know, sometimes people are held back a grade because people learn things at different rates. If you got held back, like, there's no shame in that. Just you, you got to grow at a different rate, and that's okay. Because also, once you get out of school, your intelligence may take a different form. You may be an artist. You may be who knows? Like, you may be a Pizza. fantastic like tactile technician of some kind. You may craft things amazingly. Like, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not for you. It's yeah, cool. also your testing ability in school has no actual, it is not actually that telling of your intelligence. Mm -hmm. That's true. Test is like its own skill. Yeah, so yeah. how your, your grades in school are not actually how smart you are. Mm -hmm. I was um, not held back the grade. I did have to take geometry three times. Yeah? Yeah, and then I took algebra twice in summer schools because I just could not get it. I uh, was never held back, I never even went ahead. But around like fifth grade, I was really struggling with math to the point where my teacher was like, yeah, he needs help, like he yeah. sucks at math. Aww. And I was falling really behind, I was getting bad grades, and then my parents put me in this uh, after school program thing called uh, Kumon. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. I was in Kumon. And, Kumon uh, and within a year I was 
I went from being behind to being ahead. Of oh, wow. Class. And I was like in the gifted program for math. That's pretty cool. Which shows that it has nothing to do with like innate ability. Yeah. It has to do with mm -hmm. just like how you're learning. Yeah. All right, now this is uh, the section where we ask you guys questions and then you guys answer it. Um, so the question that we gave you guys is, your drawing has come to life like Doodle Bob. What do you two do together? I haven't watched SpongeBob since I was very young. Yeah, I just don't so remember this. He gets like a giant pencil and like draws on the ground. Oh, and actually remember no that. one yeah, else yeah, can hang out. out. Yep. I'm gonna make a Doodle Bob. I remember. Sansley Parzival Johnson at Quicksilver West writes, I draw West and we'd hang out, play video games, and eat a lot of candy together. Aww. That's that's what you would do. That that's is, my dream too. As someone who has hung out with West, that is what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, and this is from at handwritten Haas. Hey. Clearly, you've never seen the episode, or you would know that I would not be hanging out with my drawing because it would be psychotic and murderous. Fair enough. I've seen the episode and I can confirm this. Yeah. Mystical Snow. Uh, I would force my drawing to draw a picture of something else and then that would come alive So then the that picture that just came alive would draw another one So it would just be an endless loop. Who's That's gonna feed terrifying. Who's wow. gonna feed them all? Yeah, where are you Where's gonna that get come that from? drawing food? Uh, her Brussels Griffon dog? I don't think so. Thugo Animal writes uh, at two kid jer hus At uh, just all the digits one. of pie. <laughs> uh, someone tweeted me that was a bunch of the digits behind. Uh, run away because I drew Trogdor! Yo, that's a Homestar Runner reference and I love that someone does that nowadays. Wow, that's intense. What's Tro that? Trog Homestar Runner was an online cartoon that existed in the days before YouTube. And I would check it every single week for updates and they would usually have at least one new cartoon up every week and it was so great. I beg your pardon, it's coming back? That's great, cast me. It was like a meme before memes were things. Oh, fantastic. interesting. Or popular at least, yeah. All right, well that was the last answer. I'm glad I got to read the truck door yeah. one. But it was still truck Guys, this was really wonderful. This was really great. And don't forget to comment down below um, Smosh fan fiction titles. Smosh fan fiction titles. Make it PG thirteen, non sexual, because we don't exactly. want to be reading that stuff. And what do you exactly. think? We, what do you think we smell like? Yeah, what do you think I, I smell like? Oh, I can describe to you guys if you guys are interested in how they smell like. You know when you go to the Target like mm -hmm. cleaning section, mm -hmm. it's kind of what he smells like. But then he also has like this very personal smell. It's kind of like oak a little bit. Professor like a tree. Oak, the old man. Professor like a tree. Oak. Creepy old and, man. Uh, uh, wow, you guys have very similar scents. Wow. We did just spend a week together in, uh, in, the, in the single room in Japan, so. Um, you have like more of a musky, you know? Elon Musk? Undertone. Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. um, Olivia smells like, I don't know if anyone's ever boiled black pepper, but. That's exactly that's what it is. Uh, Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, of Aww. course. Get out. All right, see you later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Check back next week for more. In the meantime, click on the box things to watch other fun stuff.